Welcome to Jets Talk. My name is Ryan. I'll be your pilot. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Boys and girls, I want to talk a little bit about Aaron Rodgers, specifically a portion of the interview from the Pat McAfee show where Rodgers intends on playing for the New York Jets. There was a portion of this interview that I felt like he was flat out lying about <laughs> the Packers timeline, or maybe not, maybe I shouldn't say lying. Lying might be a little strong. Let's call it not saying a full truth, whatever. Let me play you the clip from the most recent interview, and then I'll go into another clip that contradicts what he's saying. You know, I was interested in where they would be at uh, mentally. Everything that I was told in the week that I was in Green Bay was take as long as you want, and, you know, we want you to retire Packer. Uh, you know, you want to come back and play, obviously the door is wide open, Um so that was the information that I was going that was that I was going on. Now, when I came out of the darkness, something changed. At this point, you know, I, I gotta admit, I went in the darkness, ninety percent retiring, ten percent playing. So kind of interesting. He goes in and he says he was ninety percent retired, he was ten percent wanting to play, but he also mentions the week before he went into the darkness, he was in Green Bay, he was talking to uh, you know, Packers high ups or whatever, and they're telling him that you can retire a Packer, you're more than welcome to come back, all that different stuff. But that doesn't jive with what he was saying back at the end of January. Now, here's the clip from January and what he was saying about the Packers at that particular time. It sounds like there's already conversations going on that aren't involving me, which are interesting. Um, you know, honestly, I've been insulated to a lot of that. Like I said, I was in, in Nashville and and then I'll be up here, uh, you know, this week playing in the tournament. So uh, I'm not a part of those conversations right now. When I make up my mind one way or another, then uh, you guys and Packers, not in that order, but and everybody else will, uh, will know at some point. At the time, that didn't really pass the sniff test for me. It seemed like he was implying the Packers are having conversations without me, which is weird. Now, he doesn't flat out say they didn't tell him he can't come back, but I feel like if you understand there's conversations going on without you, it's probably because they're either looking to move off of you or they're looking to possibly move on to your successor in Jordan Love. And maybe it's not fully, you know, I don't know. I, I just find it weird that the Packers would have told him, hey, you could do whatever you want a week prior to going into the darkness and then flip it on a script while he's in the darkness. That, to me, seems like it's probably not... It doesn't fully pass the sniff test. So I think Rodgers probably knew they were looking to move on with love. It seemed like that was not a, a big secret within the Packers organization. This seems like something that they've been looking to move forward towards basically from the very end of the year through, I guess, last week. Um, but yeah, like if I'm Aaron Rodgers, sure, maybe I did know ahead of time that they were going to do that. I think he's a smart guy. He probably realized that the writing was on the wall and if I'm anyone else looking at this, I'm just saying like, okay, fine. <laughs> you know, they're moving on to Aaron Rod or they're not moving on with Aaron Rodgers. They're going to go with Jordan Love. It makes sense. Now, if Rodgers knew that going into it, I think the interview with Pat McAfee recently where he's saying he's 90% retired, 10% possibly thinking about playing. I think that's full of shit. I think he was totally planning on playing. I think this is a little bit of a ploy to maybe leverage uh, the Jets into a better situation trading wise because if he's 90 percent looking to retire the jets shouldn't have to give up as much in trade compensation because he could up and retire at the end of the year so i think that's that's a potential and then also i think he's partially using this not even partially i think he's definitely using this for motivation like whatever you got to do to tell yourself that they're like yo they did you the wrong way <laughs> they did you dirty and now you're gonna come back all fired up yeah dude i'm about that <laughs> i want that to happen but it definitely seemed to me like aaron Rodgers had a pretty strong inkling they were going to move on to jordan love prior to uh going into the darkness and he's just using it now as motivation and leverage to possibly get his way out of green bay so i'm curious to see what you guys wind up thinking am i totally reading this the wrong way or is this something that you know maybe lie is probably the, the wrong word i wouldn't say lie well i did say lie <laughs> maybe not full truth or like alternate truth i don't know it's kind of kind of odd let me know what you guys think down below in the comments is this anything is it nothing at all total non-story let me know in the comments down below and as always go jets